Something to think about, sir? Uh, have a wee look. It's a gospel track. I'm not in an organised religion. I was a bad boy for 22 years. Drink drugs and women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ended up with 13 near-death experiences, three drink drives and barf from 22 pubs. I'm now 21 years clean because of one prayer in my bedroom through Jesus Christ. Okay. We all come into the world with nothing. We all leave this world with nothing. And, you know, when, when I've gone through all of that, God delivered me from that. You know, you can't but you have to share what you've got. You've got to let people know the truth, not what the churches do, the hypocritical ways, the pedophilia, the line in their pockets and everything else that goes with it. I can save them my bed and my tears coming down my eyes. God's going to judge everyone by the Ten Commandments. Okay. How will you look at it? Go through it yourself. But do you ever think about the afterlife? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, well, well, let's see. Now, within three minutes, five minutes, you can find out where you're going. Yeah, I'm just sad the way it is. I'm just like... I'm just like yourself, man. Someone that's been through the mill or whatever, yeah? And God's going to judge everyone by the same standard. Put your all religions aside. They can't save you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all works righteousness. Well, I've you never been a religious person. But the, the, just... but they can't save you. Jesus yeah. wasn't in a religion. The yeah. apostles weren't in religions, right? They went against the religious in mm -hmm. Matthew 23. Called them, you hypocrites, you blind gauge, you fools, you generation of vipers. But God's going to judge everyone by the same standard. What's your name? Ross. Ross, I'm David. Nice to meet you, Ross. Okay, the standard he's going to use is the Ten Commandments. You've heard of the Ten Commandments. And by the way, yeah. we'll go through three or four five I'm not judging you I broke all ten mm -hmm. yeah just be true to you I've done that already. Be, be true to yourself right yeah, so it. the ninth commandment says thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt not lie have you ever told a lie in your life of course so have I Ross what do you call someone who lies well someone that's told you if I lied to you what would you call me a liar well done first question right yeah. second one the eighth commandment says thou shalt not steal have you ever took anything in your entire life irrelevant to the value and not give it back downloaded music anything yeah I've done the same what do you call someone who steals faith well done Third one, have you ever took God's name in vain? OMG, the name of Jesus, come out of your lips. I, yeah, Jesus Christ. I used to do it when I was drinking every other word. That's what we don't even know we're doing it. Taking it in vain. Yeah, I do it by purpose. Don't do it by purpose. But, but it just sake, slips uh, out. It blasphemy, just, yeah. it just, it's blasphemy. In the Old Testament, it's very serious. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for God will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Very serious. If I took your mum or dad's name, your son or daughter's, or brother or sister's name, someone you loved and was precious to you, yeah. and I used their name as a four letter fill word to express disgust. You'd be offended. How yeah, much yeah. more offended is God when we use his son's name, Jesus? Never the false religions of Allah and Buddha and all that. They can't save you. It's always the name of Jesus that's blasphemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that makes me think alone. Okay. Two more. Um, Are you married, Ross? No. I'm, I, I, I'm married now 11 years to a Filipino. I didn't deserve to be with a woman, to be quite honest, right? But I was on my own for 10 years before I met her. Okay. And, you know, I got fed up of being on my own and you know, sometimes you miss a hug and sharing our lives with someone yeah, more than we miss yeah. anything else. You take things for granted. Th that's right. But I was on my own you know, for 10 years and God was teaching me a lesson because in my old ways I drink soft drugs and women. It all goes together hand in hand. It's all in the same ball if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But um, I didn't realise, you know, the seventh commandment says thou shalt not commit adultery. You know what adultery is? If yeah. I'm married, she's married. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't the, get married or... or if I am the first, yeah. she has the first, that's committing yeah. adultery. Yeah, but I didn't know, Ross, there's two ways of committing adultery. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 and 28, you can read it for yourself. He said, you've heard it said of them of old time, they shall not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looks at a woman to lust after her sexual desire has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Why? Because he's going to judge our thoughts, our words, and our so actions. So thinking about it. That's right. Now, I'm a red-blooded male, the same as you. If we say we didn't do that, we'd definitely be a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So if you, even if you thought about it and you said you didn't. Right. Well, you can appreciate beauty, a woman's beauty and all of that, but when we actually get into that porn, lust, and then you've crossed the line, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You're a man, seems to be, I've done it, man, do you know what I mean? Last one, I thought, you can't get me here, yeah. right? The sixth commandment, uh, thou shalt not kill, I've never killed anyone, I'm okay. No, 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 no. no. Wrong yeah, again, yeah. wrong yeah. again. Okay. Two ways of doing it, the thought life. Thought, yeah. He says in 1 John 3 15, whosoever hates his brother has committed murder of the heart, and you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. Mm -hmm. So when I've thought all manner of evil against my family, against anyone, which I have, do you know what I mean, in the past, if I could have hurt them with anger and rage, especially with drinking me, I probably would have. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So have you ever hated anyone? Have uh, I ever? Uh, hated someone in your life? Yeah, well, hate's a strong word. It's a strong word, I know like, it is. I'd, I always try and say I don't hate people. I say it, Yeah. but I think it's better not to hate but we have, but we have, hate in your heart. that's right. But we have done that if, yeah, if we have, we're on yeah, the strike. Yeah, so let's let's stop. I used to be a hateful person. So let's stop there, right? That's five out of ten. I won't do no more. And thank you for your patience. No and, and and it's hard to see ourselves in that light. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I include myself. But um, let me give you some good news, Ross. Mm -hmm. How can God let guilty people like us into heaven and at the same time be a good, righteous judge and not a corrupt judge? Yeah. Well, you know this, and the majority, eight million people know this. 
He sent his son Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, 2,023 years ago. The calendar's based on it, actually. When he was on that cross, they were sinners. He was without sin, God incarnate in his son. He shed his precious blood as a perfect atoning sacrifice to save us from our sins. And it's hard for people to get their wrap their head around that and understand that. It took me years, 21 years reading the Bible to know what that means now, right? Really, truly understand it. Yeah. In layman's terms, I'll make it easy. Here on earth, me and you, we broke the law, lying, stealing, murder. The book of James says that whosoever keeps the whole law, the whole law of Moses, the commandments, yet so offends in one point, breaks one, he's guilty of all ten. Nobody can keep the commandments, eight billion people. That's why he came to fulfill the law of Moses on that cross. He was without sin, we're sinners. So if you died today and you went before God, he would see you now as a lion, thief, and blasphemous, adulterer, and a murdered heart. If he judged you by all ten, would you be innocent or guilty, Ross? I'd be guilty. Like the rest of us. Heaven or hell. Well, I don't really, to be honest with me, I don't really like to believe in the, the hell and heaven. I, 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 know, think, I, I, I know. think there's something else here on earth. There you go somewhere, yeah. but not... Here, here on earth, if I do a heinous bad crime, rape, murder, steal a car, do something, I go before a judge in a court of law, and I say to the judge, look, I don't, you know, I don't believe in prison. Mm. What's he going to do? Well, He's going to put me in prison. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, do, yeah. do you see what I mean, right? So... God is pedophiles, rapists, murderers. If they do that, they are family, Ross. Mm. We want judgment. We yeah. want them to go to hell. God's eternal prison. Well, I think there's different. I think there's, there's different, different levels. Dif there's dif different levels of crimes. There's different levels of hell. That's right. Hitler won't go to the same place as a car thief or someone like that, right? Yeah. And it, you know, you got pedophiles, rapists. They'll go to different levels and different places and a greater punishment in hell. I don't think they're, they're punished enough in, in this world. Then. Ab absolutely. I, I totally they're agree with you. They're being punished down there, so I don't know. Like, but that's an eternal punishment. Yeah. For what they've done, because they, they didn't only take a child or, or, or rip a child, or a woman or paedophilia or whatever. They actually destroyed a whole gener future generation of people. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's not just it just affect that do, person. Do you know what I mean? It'll so God, it's not he's not only going with the big sins. He's going with the lion stealing the black. He's going to bring everything out and open. Every one of us are guilty. Eight billion people, including myself. Yeah, mm. that's why I needed a savior because I was heading for hell. Yeah. If you die not today, you die in your sins today. God has to give you the right judgment, and that's where you'd be heading for a place called hell. Now, I don't want you to go there, Ross. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing free of charge, yeah? Okay. Look at my motive. I'm not asking you to join a church. I'm not in a church. I'm not asking you for money. Yeah. I'm doing a free of charge because yeah. God have mercy upon this sinner. So all I'm saying to you now is, before you put your head in the pillow tonight, just have a wee think about what I said. I put 150, 130, 140 videos on YouTube yeah. to try and answer people's questions. Go and they're free to watch, okay. yeah? Um, all I'm saying is, it takes two seconds to get right with God. I done it in my bedroom with tears coming down my eyes 21 years ago mm -hmm. when I was facing jail, three drunk drives. I didn't go to jail. I went in the AA meetings and DHI and Bath, semi-rehab for three months and 18 months of AA. Yeah. And when I come back to accommodation, I wanted to die. I was sick of my life. We all get there. I put a key in the front door. I come into the bedroom. I looked up to the ceiling and I started shouting with anger and rage, if there's a God up there. I've been going through a lot of bad times at the moment. You know? You're, are you? Yeah, depression, anxiety. I've been trying everything. The alcohol, know, alcohol done that to, to me. I don't drink alcohol anymore. Good uh, man. I've good been man. doing, like, I've been trying different, different things. All I'm saying to you is this: before you put your head in the pillow tonight, it takes two seconds to get right with your Creator. God, mm -hmm. please forgive me. Have mercy. I've lied. I've stolen. I've blasphemed. I've done it all. If you break one, you're guilty of all ten. Yeah. Have mercy upon me, Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Be my Lord and Savior. Okay. I done it with tears coming down my eyes, and two years later, I ended up in Israel, baptized in the same river as Jesus Christ. You can watch the interview. Um, on, on our YouTube channel. Uh -huh. um, I published a book, put all my dirty laundry in there, just said it real. It's not doctrine, it's my heart on paper. Okay. And God used an unbeliever in Nashville, Tennessee over two years to put my story in the book to the world. I never paid a penny for the book. I never paid a penny for the editorial fee. I make no money out of it because the publishing house and PayPal get... Okay. Uh, they get 85% the publish nice PayPal and tax make it the rest mm. but I got the privilege of my story being there all the yeah. dirty laundry near death experiences everything for you to read free okay. the first two chapters I think it's about four quid something like that yeah mm. but that's all I'm asking you to do does yeah. that make sense to you today? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. listen yeah, definitely. thanks for talking to me thank you for that's why I'm doing what I'm doing you know yeah. I, I, a it's lot a of people because it, 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 I didn't speak to your intellect I spoke to your conscience. Jesus done this in Mark chapter 10 with a rich young ruler. You can read that for yourself. Mm -hmm. He came running up to Jesus. He was rich. He said, what must I do to have eternal life? First, good master. First thing Jesus done was correct him and reproved him gently. Yeah. Why call me good? There's none good but God. Yeah. Have you kept the commandments? 
Yeah. He took him, Jesus took him through it, and he'd done the same in John chapter 4 with the woman at the well. Yeah. The, the husband you're with now, the man you're with now is not your husband, and you've had five husbands. She was a serial adulteress. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it hits the conscience, but I'd rather say the truth the churches aren't doing this. Yeah. Yeah, they take the money, lay in their pockets, tell you all the good news. Jesus is love, God is love, and yeah, all of that. Yeah, but they don't give you—they don't give you the other side of it. There's a yeah. judgment to come, and we're heading fast forward. Look at the state of this world. I know, man, it's bad. Isn't it? Listen, if you got any questions anytime, my email's on there. Subscribe to the YouTube. You'll get the videos every time I post them, man. And right. listen, Cheers, man. thank Take you very much. much. You have a Cheers. good day. Take care. Oh, by the way, just before you go, would it be okay if I shared this to encourage yeah, others? No worries, is man. that okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll fine. do that in the next yeah. sort of. Give me a month because no I got problem. loads to do. But listen, have a good day, and yeah. if you subscribe, you'll get notified of it. All right. Take care. Have a good day. All the best, Ross. Thank you.